Welcome to the 17th lecture on digital simulation. In this video, we will uh, try to formally define the terms local error, local truncation error and global error. In a previous video, we have gone through the basic idea of this uh, different types of errors, local error and global error. Here we will try to mathematically define these terms. So for that purpose, let us consider a differential equation dx by dt is equal to a function of x comma t with an initial condition x of t0 equal to x0 that means at t is equal to t0 the value of x is x0 so this these type of problems are known as initial value problems initial value problems so we can solve uh, solve this initial value problem using either backward Euler method or forward Euler method or trapezoidal method or some other numerical technique Okay, so in all these numerical methods, there will be some uh, amount of error involved introduced in the final solution. So there is one one word, uh, local error. So this uh, this is actually the error made locally in going from the nth value to n plus one to value. That is uh, error made locally in going from t n time instant t n to time instant t is equal to t n plus one. So that error is known as local error and it has two components. Uh, first one is, is called the local error, local error itself. Second one is local truncation error in T. So let us uh, define these terms. So in order to define these terms, uh, consider, a, uh, consider this differential equation dx by dt is equal to f of x comma t with the initial condition x of t0 equal to x0. Suppose we have numerically solved this uh, problem and we have the values up to t is equal to tn so at the t is equal to t1 we have x1 we started with the t is equal to t0 we had the initial value x0 then we will solve for x at the t is equal to t1 at t1 we know the value that is x1 at t2 we will calculate the value that is x2 like that we will uh, calculate till tn so suppose we have numerically solved this problem and we have the values up to tn then we have the sequence x1 x2 up to xn then let us define these terms so x of tn plus 1 is actually the exact solution the exact solution of this initial value problem x dash equal to f of t comma x or uh, dx by dt is equal to f of x comma t this is these are same at t is equal to tn plus 1 with the initial value x of tn at t equal to tn so x of tn plus 1 within this bracket if you x and within bracket if you write tn plus 1 it means this is the exact solution of the differential equation with the initial value x of tn that is also the exact value at t is equal to tn and if you write u of tn plus 1 it then it indicates the exact solution of the same initial value problem but with an initial condition that is different initial condition will be uh, numerically computed value x x subscript n is the numerical solution at t is equal to tn whereas x tn within brackets is actually the exact solution at t is equal to tn so uh, so x of bracket tn plus 1 and the u of tn plus 1 both are exact solutions of the same initial value problem but with the different initial conditions one is in the first case it is the exact solution at t is equal to tn itself whereas in the second case it is a numerical solution that is used as an initial value now two more terms are to be defined x subscript n plus 1 x subscript n plus 1 is actually the numerical solution of the same initial value problem with the initial condition x of tn this is the exact value at t is equal to tn x bracket tn means exact value at t is equal to tn u subscript n plus 1 is again the numerical solution of u in the same initial value problem here we are using a dummy variable u instead of x in order to avoid confusion so same initial value problem but starting with a different initial condition that is the xn that is numerically computed value numerical solution t is equal to tn so we have four terms now let us re recap it quickly uh, the first one was x of n plus 1 and the second one was u of n plus 1 
so both these two terms are exact solutions of the initial value problem in the first case the initial condition was x of m and in the second case the initial condition was x of tn and in the second case the initial condition was x subscript n that is a numerical value numerically computed value then two more terms xn plus x subscript n plus 1 and u subscript n plus 1 so these two are uh, numerically computed values numerical solution of the initial value problem this is exact solution these two are exact solution of the initial value problem here it is numerical solution of the initial value problem with the two different initial conditions for x subscript n plus 1 x of tn is the initial condition and for u subscript n plus 1 u x subscript n is the initial condition so the local error is now defined as u of tn plus 1 minus x subscript n plus 1 so now we know that u of tn plus 1 is actually the exact solution at t is equal to tn plus 1 starting with the initial condition x and x subscript n plus 1 is actually the numerical solution at t is equal to tn plus 1 starting with x so both are starting with the same initial value xn one is the exact solution the other one is the numerical solution both are starting with the same x m previous value so that error is defined as local error so the error resulting from the numerical approximation used to solve x dot equal to f of x comma t starting with x n is the local error now local truncation error is actually the difference between x of t n plus 1 and u n plus 1 x of tn plus 1 is actually the exact solution at tn plus 1 starting with x of tn whereas u n plus 1 is the numerical solution at tn plus 1 starting with x of tn so both are starting with the same initial condition that is exact value at tn plus 1 exact value at tn plus 1 sorry tn exact value at tn but one is the exact solution the second one is a numerical solution so this difference is local truncation error now the global error is actually the difference between the exact solution at tn plus 1 that is x of tn plus 1 and the numerically computed value at tn plus 1 that is xn plus 1 so this is the overall error in the process so that is uh, defined as global error so the local error this is actually u of tn plus 1 minus xn plus 1 where this is the exact solution at tn plus 1 and this is the numerical solution at tn plus 1 and both are starting with the initial condition xn which is numerically computed at t equal numerical solution at t equal to tn now local truncation error is the difference between exact solution and the numerical solution again same but starting with the different initial condition starting with the initial condition x of tn the previous case it was x subscript n so that is a difference place not that the global error is the exact value at t is equal to tn plus 1 minus numerical value at n plus 1 instead so that is the overall error so considering a numeric consistency of a numerical method uh, a numerical method is said to be consistent if the local truncation error tends to zero as the step size approaches zero so local truncation error is due to approximate representation of the differential equation being solved this is due to the approximation inherent in the algorithm because in the for, for example in the forward euler method we are uh, using taylor series appro approximation and neglecting the second order terms onwards and due to that approximate representation of the differential equation this and there will be local truncation error and local truncation error can't be completely eliminated even if we have a computer with the infinite precision so this is inherent in the algorithm so local truncation error cannot be eliminated completely even if we have a very good computer with the infinite precision then the other sources of errors are round of errors introduced due to finite precision of the computer being used and the solution of non-linear equations are there which in uh, in implicit methods that we saw in the previous video if we are using an implicit method then in the intermediate step there may be a solution of non-linear equation so the computation of Jacobian and iteration all those things will introduce some error solution of that non-linear equations will introduce some error so in the order of a numerical method so a function g of x 
of a positive parameter h is said to be of order p denoted by o of h raised to p if there is a constant c such that magnitude of g of h is always less than or equal to that constant multiplied by h raised to p for all sufficiently small h so a function g of h is said to be of order p if it satisfies this condition magnitude of g of h is less than or equal to a constant multiplied by h raised to p for sufficiently small h now the local error gets added to the global error after every time step h suppose the total time is t total time span is t and the step size is h then the number of time steps is t by h then in each time step there is an error a local truncation error suppose a local truncation error is proportional to h raised to p plus 1 step size raised to p plus 1 then the global error is proportional to this local truncation error into n so suppose this is a constant into h raised to p plus 1 into n so n is actually t by h so this will cancel one h will cancel so h raised to p so the global error will be proportional to h raised to p so there is no need to put this constant since it is a proportionality so the global error will be proportional to uh, if the global error is proportional to p plus 1 the order of step size sorry local truncation error is proportional to p plus 1 the order of step size then the global error will be proportional to p th order of step size so let me rewrite it here if lt is proportional to h raised to p plus 1 order of h raised to p plus 1 then the global error will be proportional to order of h raised to p 1 order less so if the if the local truncation error for a numerical method is of order h raised to p plus 1 then the order of that method is p so the order of the method is same as the order global error order of the global error okay that is these are the definitions of local error local truncation error and global error and order of a numerical method thank you